what is the radian measure of an angle? It gets all students all the time. And so I wanna, wanna just do a little quick little video for you on explaining radian measure and why we're gonna use it. Well, it's really helpful to know radian measure, especially once we get into calculus. And what we're gonna do for these couple problems, next couple problems in my video series, is we're gonna work on determining when um, radian measure compared to you know degree measures. And that's where we most first learned the measures of angles, right? We could say like the measure of an angle, and we said, oh, it looks like that, you know, 30 degrees, right? And we measured the degrees around, um, around the circle was 360, and half of that was 180. So to talk about radian measure, what we need to do is we need to look into a circle and talk about some things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a beautiful circle, right? Kind of beautiful, somewhere like that. And my beautiful circle, let's have a radius of 1. Okay, now there's a couple things to remember about uh, our circles, right? Remember that the circumference, the distance around a circle is 2 pi r. All right, now in this problem, you could say that my circumference is just going to be 2 pi as r equals 1. All right, so what exactly is a radian? Well, what a radian is, all right, is it is the distance of our radius. So let's say our radius, you know, we know it's going to be 1 for this value. So it's our distance of our radius, which in this case is 1, around our circle. And what we do is a lot of times we represent that by creating a central angle um, that you can. But what you can do is you can take this distance and then wrap it around your circle. And what that does is that creates a central angle with your angle theta. So when doing that, what you can say is you can say, now r, here is our radian measure, which is actually going to represent also. So your radian measure is from your, is the degree value, or sorry, it's your angle measure of the distance of one radian around your circle. Now, going back to kind of our circumference, if we think about it, if we have one radian, right? Well, remember, that's the distance around a circle. Well, if we are to kind of, which, which is approximately 6.28. If we were to kind of divide that by 2, because half of a circle would be pi. So let's divide that by 2. So that means halfway around the circle, that means here is 2 pi. Halfway around a circle is pi. Now remember, pi we represented as 3.14159 dot, 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 dot. It goes on forever, right? So if I look at, if I take my radius, the measure of my angle, my center angle, is the measurement from, of my angle from my initial to my terminal of one radian, RR. Well, if I create this again, okay, I'm going to go there. So that's two radians. Here is going to be three radians. But we said halfway around a circle was pi, right, by using our definition. Well, look, at we have three, one, two, three radians. And if you look at it, I, I'm not exactly closely measured on here. But you can see the exact distance here is going to be 3.14159 radians. So that's where we're getting pi. That's the number of radians it takes for us to get halfway around a circle. And then when we continue, so we have 3, um, three 4, 5. And what you look at it is when you do this, what you notice is, so we have that's 3 radians, that's a radian, that's a radian, that's a radian, that's a radian. You notice we roughly have about 6.28 radians. So getting back to this, what is a radian measure of an angle? Again, the radian measure of an angle is just going to be our angle all right, in terms of its radius around the circle. So if I said my angle is pi, if I said my angle is pi, we know that that's going to be a straight angle. If I say my angle is going to be equal to pi over 4, that means it's going to be 1 fourth of that angle. So roughly, you could see that 1 fourth of this wouldn't even be a whole, wouldn't even be a radian. It'd be 1 fourth of that, which would be some angle you know, going right there, which is going to be you know, half of between 0 and um, you know, pi over 2, which would be pi over 4. So again, that's just going to be a radian measure of an angle. 
I kind of blabber bobbed a little bit, but I kind of want to get onto it and get through some more problems. So if you have any questions or comments, please make sure you subscribe and comment below, and I'll be more than happy to answer more questions for you. Thanks.